Banyana baka basadi ba lo yene. Basadi le le stop aning ne. Ooh, mana mana la kaya. Le stop aning kama kana na vista. Le stop aning kaya skiki na mo kito la video emu ya disasteri aru ona pin code. Pin code, pin code, pin code, pin code. Asha. Aye basadi, basadi. Aye technology alena. Love potions do work because I tried it with my husband ne, mm-hmm. and we got married in less than three months. So it worked for me. Mm. It worked for me and I'm happy and I was building my home. Yeah. You know, I was not destroying him. Mm. If he feels like he wants to give me love potion as well, I don't mind. But I liked him and he liked me too. Mm. Wait, so he took the love potion knowing that... No, I put it in my private pot. She was securing. <laughs> she was investing. Yeah. Mm. So we made love and... Yeah, we and have it today. Yeah, you're going nowhere. Damn, it worked for me honestly. And as a couple, if you decide to do it together, I recommend you to do it. I would advise, mm. please don't stick anything in your vagina. Mm. Don't stick anything to your sacral area mm. that is not aligning mm. with the, with healing that area mm. when you take these all these herbs that you find in the shops and they tell you that's gonna make you tight and whatever you're mm. not you're not uh, you, you, you you're damaging mm. your future in terms of that area mm. Okay, the topic of ladies using muti to keep men. Someone called it chemical <laughs> engineering. Listen, I don't promote it. I think it's silly. If a man doesn't love you or doesn't want to be with you, why would you force another human being to love you forcefully? Because we all know it always ends in tears. When these things end uh, or they need to be renewed, these men will start to retaliate. Whether they start beating you, whether they will leave you with 15 children, whether they do it, but it never ends well. No one is going to say, oh, it's okay, baby, you gave me Corobella. Yeah, I might as well keep staying. No. People, people, it, it's women that cannot accept being, being, being rejected. Women that can, can't accept not being loved. How can you force? It's like you. How would you feel if someone made you their personal zombie? They literally capture you. You, you are in love with them unconsciously. You are forced. It's not voluntarily. Isn't that rape? Sleeping with someone unknowingly. They get all the pleasure out of you. You keep bringing your body. You keep bringing your salary. You keep bringing yourself. But it's involuntary. If you had a choice, you wouldn't have chosen that person. You know? So I think it's very dangerous that women will even think of doing that or devil into, into making a man love you. If that man, leave him. Leave him. Don't force another whole human being to love you via black magic. It's never worth it. It's never. There are many people who have forged their, their relationship via Imbiza, via Mami and Kaza, via Mshabia Lingan. It's okay. But just know it's going to come back for you. Nothing lasts forever. <laughs> Okay, guys, you can see video earlier. I'm making on my pin code, but I realized the horror it's not clear, and the comment didn't if it clear, and I left out some information. So, good, right? So, I want it quick, quick. Um, you need atlas, you need stony, and then you need your pin code. Hi, Bonahal. I'm gonna try. I don't know how am I going to try you oh, when I zoom. Hi, Bonahal. But okay, let's see. Yeah, the pin code. Lava pin code. There are two types of pin code. You just make sure you get this one. A good thing is Gezo. It's Kotai. Lebon. There. Now. You're going to pour in your stone, your in your glass, and then one spoon of your pin coat, and then you mix. Get powder so you know anything powder a week in your thing ever on top. So you're going to stay while you drink, stay while you drink. You must drink it 30 minutes before. Well, now I drink a cup a day. You don't need to drink every day. You can skip. It's up to you. But, okay, okay, you're now. Pin code to end. <laughs> <laughs>
anders. What does it take? What pushes a woman to that limit? I'm a daughter and I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter. As a woman, what is it that pushes you to the edge where you feel like I can't anymore? Because I'm really lost for words. So, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Okay. Wow, what is up you dazzling diamonds and the others? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle and this is The Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into this video. Alrighty then, you guys. If you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on that thank you button. All right, all right, guys. Um, you guys are gonna have to stop with your witchcraft. You're gonna have to stop with your witchcraft. It is getting out of control, and the clock is ticking. You have to repent for your sins. The people that are dabbling in Sangomorism. The people that are consulting with mediums. God says you mustn't do that. And don't tell me it's, it's, South Afri it's African tradition to consult with Sangomas. Because isn't a medium the same thing as a Sangoma? They look into the futures. The one um, reads the cards. The other one reads the bones. I asked you, why do you have to know about your future? You have to live like the rest of us do. Your day-to-day -day experience has to be shocking and surprising. Don't take away the fun of life that God has gifted you. Stop consulting. And all these creepy sangoma, stop doing what you're doing. You have to stop what you're doing. Eternity is a long time. You're going to regret it. Anton LaVey, on his deathbed, he said he made a mistake. He said it. He said it. You don't want to be like that. All the riches that you acquire from these bad practices, these evil practices, you're going to leave on earth. What is wrong with you for thinking that? Oh, it's fine. I just want to live my life. You're too comfortable with the fact that you're going to hell. It's going to be very uncomfortable and cramped down there. A lot of people are going there. A lot. And it's very sad. I feel so sorry for them. You're being duped left, right and center. You're being duped left, right and center. That is witchcraft. There's a difference. Yes, of course there is a difference. With a healer. And these ones that are doing this dark stuff. Because way back when, there were healers that used plant medicine. How do you think people got rid of infections and all those type of things? They were healers. It's doctors. And that is given to you by God. But now once you start using the gift from God for evil, Wathanya, you're a witch. Wakula. And you have to stop what you're doing. You, you actually have to stop what you're doing. You're going to regret it. You have to repent for your sins. You're a sinner. We're all sinners. But you're really a sinner. Some of them are so hell-bent. They even say that they can't wait to die. And then become umgov. To come and terrorize the world. You're sick. You're sick. 
How can you not appreciate the life that God has given you right now, right here, right now? Why must you be different when another is consulting? Be different from everybody else and you, have, you just have to know what's going to happen in the future. Why? That is weird. I spoke about this thing called Mabeleza. I think I, I've done a couple of videos about it, I think. Right? And people came out to say, do your research more. It's kombucha, wada, 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 wada. Okay, it's kombucha. Oh, yeah, kombucha. But when people start to mix different herbs into it and start to talk to it, and start to give it those powers that help you to manifest men with money and keeping my man, keeping my marriage, all these funny things. That's witchcraft. Now you are manipulating the situation. Now there's another one that's out. It's called, <laughs> it's called pin code. It's called pin code. Pin code, pin code, pin code. Women are flocking to it. Women, why can't you be stronger? You're so important in this life, in the world. Physically, spiritually. Without you, there is no world. There is no reproduction. Nobody can be born without you, woman. Why are you so weak? Women are getting this thing called a pin code. It's called pin code now. To keep men. Or to, if your man doesn't want to give you money, he's going to give you money and everything that you want. It's always about money. Paper. It's, they say, they call it, like I that paper. It's, it's paper. <laughs> it's literally paper. Your soul is more valuable than that paper. What are you doing, ladies? Why the lawyer so? Why the lawyer ganji? And if that man doesn't want you, he's not your man. His wife is somewhere out there and your husband is somewhere out there that God has placed there for you. There is someone there for you. You guys are in a rush. I want to get married. Nah, I'm too old. Do you not know that in the Bible there was a lady that had kids at 80? They lived longer. Do you not know that? There is enough time. You cut your life short by the shady shit that you're doing. You cut your life short by the shady shit that you are doing. You do. And it's your choice at the end of the day. So why are you in a hurry to become a millionaire? Why are you pressured by people? You're so concerned about what other people have to say or what they are doing. But you're not concerned with what God, Yahweh, is thinking about you. His heart is breaking every time you go and do these things. I'm a mother. If my kids do something that I don't want them to be doing, and it hurts me. It hurts me so much. So sometimes I'll think to myself, when I'm doing something that the father is against, and I am sinning, he is weeping. God is a God of wrath, but he is so merciful and patient. Because look at all the shit that people are doing um, these days. God could have just snapped his finger and everything is done. But he gives us a chance. People don't understand that. They just think that God... Must just always, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. No. He also gets pissed. Like, as you are a parent that's watching this, you get pissed with your kids. You want them to do better. You give them options and choices. That's what he does. And that's why he has entrusted us with kids. Our kids, yes, are our kids. They, we break them, so on and so forth. But they are God's kids. You have been entrusted with their lives to do the right thing, to mold these little people. How do you not see that? What is wrong with people? Like, ugh. It's so frustrating. Mothers are educating their daughters on how to get rich men to go get these things. I will pin code. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? And then they promote it everywhere online. 
Because Satan is working online, especially on TikTok. And I told you before I became so hooked on TikTok, I used TikTok predominantly for information purposes. There's a lot of information there. But I, and I've told you guys this, how addicted I have become to it. But I usually use it as a tool to learn. As much as God is on TikTok, Satan is on TikTok. Watch what you are consuming. By these zubi jibi navy grey witches that are advertising the bean gold. What the hell is that? You're crazy. They have a mental it must be. It's a mental illness. That is a mental illness. Especially if you've read the Bible and you know how it all ends. To think that you can do these things and there's not going to be any repercussions for your action. They keep on coming up with these funny things. As a lawyer, by a lawyer. Whenever you decide to bend the will of another, you are a witch. You're bathing with these things, you're eating these things, you're sprinkling, you're putting them in your vagina to bend the will of another. And then most of the time, the these spells work on people that are not connected to God. Ladies, I think we all know this. And I must declare it a fact that not a lot of men are saved. Not a lot of men pray. Men are usually on the hustle, on the go. And that's why they have wives. They have a favor from God who prays for them. We pray for, you must, you must pray for your man. You must pray for your kids. You must pray for your family as a woman. That is your duty. That is your duty. That is your duty. Men are doing, some men are doing their own little funny things. They really are. And that's why it is so easy for these hoes, I want to say the B word, these hoes to use our pin code and get these men's money. Because these men are not protected. They don't pray. They don't have the favor of the Lord, a wife who is a good thing to pray for them. They are just living, trying to get into everybody's panty. It's, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous thing. Men, you need to pray. You need to pray as much as your wife prays. I pray with my man. We pray as a family. We hold our hands and we pray. You must pray. Some people think that praying like that, they feel uncomfortable. Or praying out loud, they feel like, oh, dropping down to your knees. You feel uncomfortable. Why are you uncomfortable about God? God is not uncomfortable about you. You're here, aren't you? He's not embarrassed about you. He loves you. So why are you uncomfortable? What? what is going on? What is going on over here? You must ask yourself that question. And you have to ask yourself more questions. I ask a lot of questions. I'm so inquisitive and I'm always ready to learn more and more and more about who I am, why I'm here, and who my father is. I will fight to the nail to grow, to, to, to grow closer to him and to never lose his anointing, his favor. I would rather die. And that's why when the time comes, and it's going to come. When the Antichrist comes. That we are going to be beheaded. That's a fact. Because we will never take a knee to the wrong one. Never. There is no way. If you know, you know. Because if you know, you know. Then you know when the time comes, you won't be dead forever. Your body will stop working. But your soul will live on forever with Yeshua, with Yahweh. Stop doing your witchcraft. You're not even cool. You're a loser. And you're weak. That's a fact. It is not apparent. It is not alleged. You're weak because you cannot exist in this 
beautiful world that God has given us, like the rest of us, just naturally, like how the you plant a seed and it grows naturally, like how you you shave your hair and it comes back out naturally, naturally, naturally. You're sick. You have a mental illness and you're weak. Stop consulting and stop with your witchcraft now. Stop it now and repent. Drop down to your knees and pray to God and repent for your sins. Repent for your dirt. We all have to do it. You're no different. The evil zibijibis are not going to save you in the end. Eternity is a long time. You have to choose a path. You have to choose your way. Shortcuts. Never served anyone. You all know this. But some of you are actually watching this video. The tapakadi pin code. You're busy bathing with pin code or eating it right now as I speak. You're watching me and you're eating that thing. Sis, put it down. Put it down. And repent for your sins. It's disgusting. It really is. Especially ladies. You are important. You are so important. You need to realize that. Melanated woman. Oh man, if only you knew the power that you hold in you. If only you knew the power that you hold in you. Please stop what you're doing. The time is done. You have seconds, you have hours, you have minutes, you have weeks. At this point, I feel like it's weeks. Before, a lot of what has been said in Revelations comes to pass. I've been saying this for two years. I've been saying this for two years now. And I really only came on the scene the last two years. This is going to be the third year. Or have we hit the third year in March? I'm not sure. Something like that. But my message has always been consistent. Apart from the time when I was dabbling in new age spirituality, I didn't know any better. But I still knew God. And when I look back in my life and all the shady shit that I've done, I could be dead. Mina, I should be dead. But I'm alive. I'm alive. Because, and I always knew it. God plucked me out. He plucked me out. He plucked me out. He always plucks me out because I believe in God. I have faith. Even when I was naughty, I still had faith. And I questioned a lot. I questioned a lot. Please stop with your witchcraft, ladies. If a man doesn't want you, that's okay. That means that he's not your husband. You can make your own money. And you will find your husband if you stay on the straight and narrow. You will be financially abundant. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be um, aesthetically pleasing. You have to live your life. You have to actually find out what your purpose is. And do that. And enjoy all of this beauty around us that God has given us. You don't have to be flying on private jets. Roaming around with Birkins. Maybe it's not for you. And God does that for a reason. Because look at the people that have these things and the things that they have to do. He's hooking up with some guy that is separating from the wife again. You have to open your legs to... Did you see that guy com compared to Mithlali? Apparently it's not true. But with Mithlali, I was just looking at the story and I was like, I can't, not again. She's chosen her path or these hoes and thoughts. They've chosen their path. You have to choose yours. But you cannot try to live somebody else's life because you don't know their life in the dark. You don't know their life in the dark. What are you doing? Live your purpose. Find out your real purpose. Not everybody's going to be rich and famous and this and that. You have a purpose though. And once you find your purpose, it's going to fulfill you. And you're not going to want all these worldly things. Stop being so dead. You're literally a walking corpse. Because you're going to hell if you are that person. Stop with the witchcraft, guys. The money that you're trying to acquire, you're going to... It's so simple. You're going to leave it here. 
when you die and then you're gonna go to hell what are you doing what are you doing bro why would you do that bro type of situation it's ludicrous to me it doesn't make any sense whatsoever pin code Ooh, hey you guys just keep on taking keep on satan is feeding you all these things and he's putting them online feeding you all these nonsense things i'm gonna get the money but what are you sacrificing to get the money you know you don't have to be rich to live a comfortable. i'm not rich and i remember a point where people were like oh you said you live so comfortably when the vault was like we need equipment donate please I meant what I said. It wasn't a lie. It wasn't a joke. I just wanted the equipment. But I do live comfortably. Because that is God's promise to me. I'm not rich. I'm just like any other average Joe. I have my struggles. But I have God. I never sleep hungry. I've never slept hungry. I've had instances in life when I was growing up. And I thought I would sleep. Um, go to bed without food. But then miraculously. God provides. So I know. I'm speaking from experience. He will provide no maranjani. But you have to believe that he will. You have to have faith that he will provide for you. And you have to have faith that he's going to eject you from your witchcraft. He's, you will be delivered. But you have to want to do it. You have to let it go. You have to burn these things. You have to get rid of them. Get them out of your life. And if you feel like you are in the mists or your friends, someone in your friend group is navy grey. Get rid of them too. You don't owe anyone anything. And if you're a parent, you owe God taking care of the kids that he has given you. That's your, that, that is your greatest job. That is your greatest job. Life is very simple if you start to look at it that way. Stop stressing about a lot of things because how many if please tell me in the comment section down below how many of you guys didn't think that you were gonna make it to the next day? You didn't think you were gonna have transport money to go to work. You didn't think that you could pay your bills at the end of the month, but miraculously you did. Who do you think did that? Who? Come on. Right? Guys, please stop with your witchcraft and don't acquire this pin code. It's a bad idea. Anything that is witchcraft is a bad idea. Stop it. Just cease. I'm asking you nicely. Draw closer to God and repent for your sins on a daily basis because no one knows the time or the hour. Or the date, rather. However, if you have discernment, God is going to give you the signs of when that time and hour is. That's what he does. Um, there was a video I was watching where in one of the Bible verses, God says that, God says that, do not let the spirit of God depart from you. That is the one thing you need to avoid in life. Which means that don't go into sins. When you do or, or you're about to and you catch yourself, get out of it quickly. Get out of it quickly so that you can hear God when, he's, when he tells you when the time and the date is. Nobody knows when it is, but he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna give you a hint to get your stuff in order. And every time you sin, you catch yourself, you fix it. Because even though you don't know the exact time and hour... He's going to give you a hint. It's drawing closer and closer. They say in the Bible that people will um, look for signs. And they will have none. But God has already given you the signs. There was a movie I watched, Don't Look Up. You need to look up. Look at this guy, what's happening, guys. And don't tell me you haven't seen that shit. It's weird up there. We are at that time. This is us. Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? So stop with that witchcraft. Because you're thinking, ah, I'll, I'll repent in 2027. I've got time. You don't have time. 
you need to try by all means as hard as it may be not to be a sinner try by all means when you sin you must know you must hear that voice that's saying this is not right don't do this and if you do it repent immediately or just don't do it or just don't do it do not lose the spirit of god and you will know when it's time you will feel it all right god says oh I, the point i was trying to make is that god says no man no man knows the time but the spirit he doesn't say no spirit he says no man and if you have discernment your spirit that god the breath that god has given you will know that's what i'm trying to say that's the part of you that will know and that's why we know one taller but if you are a merely a man without the spirit of god you will not know if you are a habitual sinner you don't have god in you he leaves because why god feels uncomfortable in a vessel that's why man die you black out the spirit guys do you see do you see how it comes full circle do you see what i mean my daddy where the spirit leaves you and then the bad entity is coming for a joy right because god feels uncomfortable in this vessel that is sinning and even after the bad things you've done and you call upon god and he comes back he will come back but how many times are you going to go back and forth getting rid of the spirit of the lord the breath are you going to do it until that click of the finger happens and people are raptured and you're not going? Do you even know the Bible well enough to know what to do when people are raptured, when you're staying behind? Some of you don't even know what to do thereafter. Some of you don't even know thereafter that there's a chance. It doesn't mean that you must ever run now because, oh, we'll get another chance. How many chances can God give? And people only want to hear all these good things and sweet things about the Lord. Don't you think he gets tired? And if you're a parent, I think that you can relate. Don't you get tired sometimes when your kids are not listening to you? Or they repeatedly do these freaky little things that they do. And you're like, but I told you, don't do this. You understand what I mean? I hope that you guys understand what I mean. So stop with your witchcraft. Stop it. Stop it now. And repent for your sins. Stop. Don't go throw those things away, man. Rich is saying. They're not worth it. It's only a long time, man. Chur. Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys do enjoy my videos, please do click on the thank you button. Baby. Baby. I'll see you in the next time. Bye, guys.